Hey, what's up guys? Today in this video, we are going to look at how we can implement a pull to refresh to any list that we have rendered inside a Flutter screen. Like you have seen, we had created this list inside Flutter, which is rendering this list view. It is using the future builder. And right now, if I do a pull to refresh, you can see the first description says expense new. If I leave it now, it will refresh and the description changes to for demo pull to refresh, which means if I change something in background, if the database changes, a new thing is added, something like that, then our app will understand that based on the pull to refresh and it will show you the latest data. So how do you do that? Let's dive into it. So to implement our refresh indicator, let's see what we get in Flutter for implementing that particular behavior. So the question is, why do we want to do this, right? The first thing is, obviously, you know, we need to ask a question, why do we need that? So I'll tell you why. I'm on this page, okay? I made an API call and I get this list of expenses. But then, let's just say, for some reason, while I'm on this page, a new expense was added, right? Or maybe someone edited the description of this expense. For example, let me go to the database and change that expense description changed something like this. I hit save. Now, obviously, I have no way to know that this has changed. Now, in a typical mobile app, what you would do is <clears throat> if you are on Twitter or Instagram, they just show a new post came in and there is a small blue colored button on Twitter and Instagram shows one more where you click and you are taken to the top of the screen. But let's just say there are some other like Gmail where you have a pull to refresh, right? So we need to implement that right now. If I want to see the latest changes, I need to go back to dashboard and then I click over here because now I know that my API call was made. But ideally, pull, refresh and see the new changes. That's what we want to do. So let's get started. Flutter comes with a, a component or rather what they call is a widget called refresh indicator. What I'm trying to do is wrap everything in this widget inside a refresh indicator. So let me see. A refresh indicator is here. It takes a child and what it needs to do on refresh. Okay. Why don't we put the entire markup which was previously there inside the child block. And then I want in some way to send the same function or call the same function which I am using to fetch the data at the initial stage, which is while rendering this widget, right? So we have this function. I can call it like this. Let's just say on refresh does take a closure. So if I do something like this, okay. And over here, if I <clears throat> make this call, and if I return, what should happen? Let me see. So I will come over here inside fetch expense. Let us just take this variable as you know, final expenses or rather new expenses equals this and we will return new expenses. Obviously, this is wrong because I could definitely not wrong, but I'm doing it unnecessarily. The reason I want to do this is I want to show you that the data will change. Okay. So new expense. Oops. The bracket is gone. To string something like this. Okay. And now let me go to the home page. Click on dash. Hmm. Didn't work. 
ideally the print should have come terminal is empty right output problems and uh, debug what happened let me try and see if i can refresh the app and make sense out of it ideally this should have printed what i was trying to do over here let's just wait running gradle okay okay the app has restarted let me click on that and i have something okay but obviously this is showing me instance of expenses i think what would be better is let me undo okay i i think i have an alternate method oops come over here do return and this is a json decoded string so if i print this i think i will get the entire string inside the you know debug console that's my understanding let me try that out go back click here and i do that right so as you can see id 22 then description is mobile recharge okay that's 22 oh my bad so that id 25 description expense description changed right this is this is what we have and the same thing we are showing over here now i will change my description again and let's just type again save it go to our mobile app can you see this pull to refresh it is ready but there will be a problem i'll show you what print ta, ta, ta. it should have ideally printed the thing but it didn't which is a bit weird okay i'm coming over here right what happened yes <clears throat> i don't know maybe i was doing some my gesture wrong so that must be the reason why the pull to refresh was not working for me more on how i i'm you know working with the trackpad nothing to do with the code but yeah as i can see the id now 25 shows description uh, expense description changed again previously the description was expense description changed the again is added over here but i don't see that here why the reason is this the data has changed but my component the list view which i have hasn't re-rendered itself and that is true because list view doesn't know something has changed in the database uh, in the data which it is rendering and that's the reason we need to somehow tell the list view that it needs to render i'll tell you why i know that the data is coming see if i come to the screen again basically the x um, not the axios call sorry but the ajax call was made and we got the new description over here but obviously this is not happening on pull to refresh this can be solved and again you may face this kind of a problem inside your app from time to time to solve this kind of a problem basically what we are going to do is change the state a bit okay if we do a set state then the widget will know that something has changed and it will trigger a re-render so the smallest or the quickest solution that i could find was to do this okay once i do this and now new description description okay hit enter now if i try to refresh right let me see no why expense new description that should have worked ideally is my pull to refresh working properly i need to do this 
no that is strange and let me try and see if i'm doing something wrong over here so this is fine i am expecting expenses oh yeah i think i know what is the problem uh what i should ideally do is when this the state changes right i am again referencing the expenses variable which is this particular variable okay but we haven't really changed this variable with on refresh because this would be triggered only in the init state so the widget when it started rendering this init state was called this expenses was set by you know getting the response from this particular function but after that that expense never changed so ideally what i'll have to do is also maybe i'll go over here and change this okay hit refresh right expense new description is coming which means it refreshed itself let me try and change the description again because expense new disc expense new description changed auto something like that okay very random uh, i'm not thinking too much about it right now but if i do a pull to refresh ideally this needs to change and it did so as you can see what basically we have done is you know the change is very simple <clears throat> what we had originally was the future builder which was getting returned we wrapped this entire thing inside refresh indicator refresh indicator has a child element and also on refresh method we need to tell on refresh what it needs to do so we are returning the data which is coming from fetch expenses and before that we set state this is important we need to set state so that the widget knows that something is changed because it has changed it will trigger the re-render re and whatever data is coming from fetch expenses it will work now i just need to see if this is an experiment again i haven't tried this out but come to think of it i want to know if this entire block of code will get executed because i am returning the data from this function right so ideally on refresh if i don't return anything what happens okay it complains the body complete normally causing null to be written okay um what does refresh indicator say the semantic label is used to specify an accessibility that is fine constant this pa, pa, pa. Mm, refresh indicator there should be an on refresh thing and documentation okay it just says the on refresh child and notification predicate arguments must be not null okay so i can't keep this null and that's why i think what we have to do is and return the data i think that's that's the bare minimum that i can do or maybe if i do return this no it it expects a future so that's fine we will keep this and now our refresh indicator is working i can pull and i can refresh the data just to explain you i did this hit ok and now we are here okay so yeah that's about it guys if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel